Yeah, these are pretty fun, right? Hey amigos y familias, Gabriel Rai here and on this video I'm going to be going over the Rockstix 2 HD. Let's get to it. So as you saw, they pretty much just light up every time you hit them. Kind of hard to see right now because of the light, but you get my drift. If you hit them just lightly enough, they will not light up. It has to be kind of a good kind of a hit. Now at first glance, these are made out of plastic, okay? They do feel a little weird at first and it takes some time to get used to. And I know what some of you might be thinking, aren't you afraid of breaking these? When I first got these, yes, I was pretty much afraid. But if you guys were to see my last video where I just pretty much had a jam session with these, they, they pretty much handle what I threw at them, any fills or um, even hitting the cymbals hard and all that, it was it was just fine. Now, starting off, I'll tell you, you do not get any advantage playing with these at all. Now, I usually use um, group percussion drumsticks, 5Bs, and these are going to be coming in pretty close, if not just a tad longer. And it's mostly the tip. The tip is a lot more thicker. The only major difference I will say is that one, you do you can't tell that this is not hollow. It's it's solid, it's good. But this one, you could you could kind of have a feel that yeah, there's it's 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 missing something. LA. It's every time. Okay. They're gone. So these do run on batteries and it's going to be running 1.5 volts, those um, cylinder kind of looking batteries. I've never opened this at all. I've had this for a year and I mean, they're, they're, they've been great. If I was to add up all the time that I played these actively, I would say approximately 15 hours or so. Now I've only used these for shows. Um, a lot of people tend to like these, they're, they're pretty cool, but I tend not to use it for the whole show. I, you, you can't do that. And well, yeah, you can, but it's just not ideal at all. And at most, I'll use this for two songs at shows. I practice, I probably have used these for like 15 minutes straight and just fine, but I do tend to feel more tired of using them than anything because it's just, it's not the same feel. You cannot drive these as hard as the wooden sticks you can like I feel like they could break if you were to drive them I mean so far they've been handling them with all those with all that drive but I just don't want to do the whole thing I don't want to go 100% on it yeah this definitely gives you a different sound um, to your drum set for example like the tums will sound a little weird uh, a little I want to say muddy if that's the right word and then your cymbals it will sound a lot more clingier or a lot more in a higher pitch in a sense and that has to do with just the shape of the tip and the material it's made out of really As far as price goes, these are gonna run you about $17 or so in Amazon. And that could be kind of on the expensive side for one pair of stick. To put that in perspective, five pairs of this sound percussion 5B stick can be 20 bucks. So yeah. If you're a Vic Firth kind of guy, you know, one pair is like 10 bucks right there, which is, you know, good. It's decent. That's that's where they should be. So at $17 for the plastic, cool looking light up stick can be on the more expensive side. But is, is it really all that much? Probably not. So far, these have lasted me and I'll say it is worth the 17 bucks. Now, this one is the $17 one is one solid color. But the next step over that is a $22 one that changes all different types of colors. Now, would I recommend these? Yeah, I would. These are pretty fun. And 
yeah, I think everybody should have one of these, and it's not that expensive if you think about it. As far as sticks go, maybe. In reality, it's 17, 18 bucks. It's not gonna hurt the pocket too much. It goes up by another pair, and it could be a different colors. You can mix and match. Why not? Now, yeah, the pros are that it gives a show. It gives it more of a cool factor, and it could make you stand out a lot more. The cons is that I would not use this in a studio to record at all unless you're trying to go for that particular sound that this produces fine but for the most part you know, I'm sticking with a wooden stick pretty much. Another downside I will say is that it does take a while to get used to it but it's it's really within a few minutes of a drum session in reality. It's not that much of a deal breaker. It's not. It's, it's nothing. You really just have to get over the fear factor that you're gonna break these, and in reality, you just know that you're you're not. Okay. I've driven these into my beater heads, like I said, and it's just it just hand, handles it. The feel of it when you're doing a fill as well, it it does feel weird because the bounce back is a lot more different than anything else. And again, to drive these, you really have to put in a little more effort because um, they are a little heavier, like I said. Now for this test, I'm... Now for this test, I'm just gonna let them bounce and see which one's more bouncier. Seems to me that the rock sticks is gonna be a little bit bouncier. Tip is definitely bigger, but it is more heavier on the bottom side. So there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Comment down below if you ever tried one of these or if you will try one of these or if this video was helpful at all, let me know what, what you guys are thinking, let me know what you guys want to talk about, and yeah, go get yourself some, some of these. I'll leave a link down on the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys on the next one.